All right, this is a bit of... I always start with the right. I don't like to say that. I don't like to say all right, and I don't like to say um, and I do it all the time. Welcome to the game. So in this video, we are um, doing something a little bit different. We're just doing a bit of an update about um, some interesting things that we think have been happening lately that maybe some other people might find interesting as well. So I'm Justin, which I don't say my name very often, but... <laughs> But I'm Justin, and I'm the person that you always see if you tune into this. Um, and this is my eldest. You're the eldest, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you're the oldest one? Yes. We'll have to... Yeah, I reckon you're right. This is my eldest son, Davy, and you are... I am 8 turning 9 this year. Alright, I'll just write that down. In a few months. So, eldest... 8 turning 9 and it was Davy. Davy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, Davy is 8 and he's on school holidays at the moment. So um, some interesting things that have been happening around here. We live in... We live in Queensland. Tambourine Mountain. We do. I haven't said the name of the place where we live in Queensland before. I normally just put um, Gold Coast, but we live up on Tambourine Mountain, which is... Um... Hey, Claire. Yeah. Did you say Tambourine Mountain was 500 metres above sea level? Yeah. Yeah, so 500 metres above sea level, we're up quite high. And then what happens when you look out of the window sometime when, when it's raining? See sometimes some we are in the... In the rain and in the clouds. Um, it was only about a week ago where we had about three days of just um, drizzly rain because Fearful. yeah, because we're in that rain cloud. You look out and it looks like mist, um, but when you drive down the mountain, then all of a sudden you're out of the cloud, which is which is interesting. So yeah. we have rainforest all around us, don't we? So yes. we expect rain. Um, this is just out of our summer period. One interesting thing that happened a little while ago was the floods that we had up here. Yeah. It was certainly a big event for us. Yes. And we spent a few days in the in the rain um, and with Davy's brothers who were four and one and they were completely over being in the house so we tried to drive down. So one of the roads got flooded. Like the bridge was just like non seen So like all the cars were there but they were just looking at water and didn't know a way back home or to their work or anywhere else they needed to go. Alright, it's already up, coming up a bit, so we'll hightail it out of here. There is. There is like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. And your school even closed. Yes. Closed for two days because of the flooding. And we couldn't get off the mountain for one day because there's a few roads around but they all um, either got flooded out or it was, um, it was a bit of a risk going down then. Yeah. Interesting times for us. Yes, very much. Then recently, my wife and your mother, <laughs> Sash, both. <laughs> she, um, Claire was. Um, she does night shifts as a nurse, and she was driving down the mountain um, to go to night shift. There was a dangerous driver, and the outcome of that was that um, there was a head-on collision, and Mum had to go into. Um, uh, the person who caused the accident and that, and their car was on fire and she had to go into well she had to go into the car and she had to take out the man yeah so she had to pull him out of the car and um while the car was on fire and then it pretty much exploded which we might put some a photo or a short video here I'm ho hoping to get mum in front of the camera to talk about that because that's yeah. just a crazy story and I think that um, 
with the game room, I'd like to incorporate some of the stories of our lives as well. And if people find it interesting, that's great. If they don't, so be it. They can skip those ones. And our poor dog's in a cone at the moment. So yes, he's been scratching his head and his head has been losing and we have to give him a cone because he's gonna well that was just him there <laughs> he just barked at us with his cone but he's been scratching his hair and hair has been coming out so we have to get a cone so he doesn't scratch himself so he, you've seen him in, in videos he's getting around with the cone at the moment trying to knock everybody over well not trying but no. knocking everybody over because he doesn't know how big he is with yeah. his big <laughs> cone head <laughs> he's right there the last thing that we'll talk about in this little video is it is school holidays for Davy at the moment and yesterday we went out just um, your mum and you and I. Yeah. Please. We went to Time Zone. So Time Zone is um, a big arcade place where you get to play arcades and games. It's not like the arcades at the back there. It's different arcades like pin or like just video games. There's a huge mix, isn't it? So there's pinball machines. There's dance ones. There's um, Driving. Um, what are they called with the the? the claw? Oh yeah, claw machines. Claw machines. So prize redemption machines. Yep. Or and, prize machines. And there's ticket redemption machines. Gun games. There's. What else? Um, did I mention pinballs? Maybe. Yeah. Simulation ones? Yeah, simulation ones. And there is also um, where you get the hammer, and you might know this one, but you get, you hit like this little circle bit, and then it just go. there's this little thing just goes up to the top. Yeah, so they're a, a little bit different than arcades back in my day, and um, yes. that's. Like the, those. You know, as I was growing up, the ticket redemption stuff became bigger. There were. Arcades around um, when I was younger that did not have ticket redemption machines and they were just purely like these arcade machines in the back here um, They're the ones that I enjoy the most, but then slowly the ticket redemption stuff kind of took over But now time zone's doing pretty well in that it has such a massive range and it doesn't seem that expensive Like the one that we went to on it was um, only like 20 no, I was like it said twenty six dollars an hour, so that's pretty cheap. Yeah. If you're looking for an hour at this big arcade place. Yeah, twenty six Australian dollars for an hour is pretty good, and you got to play. And in that, you get um, ten goes of the ticket redemption machines. Yeah. You get two goes of the prize machines. You get one go. Ah, uh, um, extras. I think it was one go at extras, and I forgot the last one. Um, and then just all the other machines, all of those ones are just unlimited, aren't they? So you get to do as much as you want. So what was your favourite game in Time Zone? My favourite game in the Time Zone... Hmm, let me think about that. Maybe it was... Yeah, it was the cup one where the man put the ball on the, the cup and then he just switched it around. Because I just put my finger where it was and then I got... 45 points slash tickets but yes 
Yeah, some of the some of those ticket redemption machines are very close to adult gambling. And they're a bit of fun, but we always make sure that lets you, you know, talk about that they yeah. you get rubbish prizes from them and how much you pay, you never get that back in Yeah, like prizes. the claw machine. What was that car racing game that you were on that was moving everywhere? I suppose that is new kind of language. I think it might have been a cruising. Actually, it was. It was a new Nintendo cruising game. So, um, yeah, the one that you first went on, and um, it actually lifted up a bit, and then it, when you went left and right, the whole machine shook around. Right, with you. No, you went on, oh, it that was and a different I filmed. Thing. I've got some footage of that. I still like the. Um, they had um, Time Crisis Five, and the first couple of levels of that are really fun. Um, not sure if I got footage, but. But it starts off with a handgun, so you have that one um, one bullet each time you pull the trigger, um, which I really like, and it has no target on the on the screen, so it's based on wherever you shoot, that's where um, the bullet will go. But you don't know until you've shot if you've if you've been successful. Where a lot of them now are just hold the button down like the the. Um, Transformers one, where you oh, just yeah. got a machine gun and you kind of just put your target around the screen. I don't find those ones as fun, but they're good for yes. people your age. Thanks for watching The Game Room, and we'll see you in the next video. See Bye. you then.